Things to do instead of crying. Get drunk. Fuck. Sleep. Fuck. Get drunk. Go on Facebook. Fuck. Get drunk. Guard tongue against teeth nervously. Fuck. Get drunk. Pray to the moon. Fuck. Send desperate text messages. Fuck. Drown yourself in mindless TV. Fuck. Sing karaoke. Fuck. Get drunk. Fuck. My tongue is pressed deep inside yours, the cleanest and most delicious asshole that I have ever tasted. Frantically flicking symbols and numbers, long strokes and short ones, deep and then light forming letters and words, hard but then soft, your name and my name and fuck frantic phrases, like how did we get here? Why are we doing this? Back to repetitions I've set into motion, X's and O's growing less out of longing, and back to the spelling of strange cryptic words, whatever I think with my tongue and your asshole, my hand on your cock, gripping loose but still stroking your hand on mine, you're pushing down harder, my hands are confused but my flicks are coherent, sweet words you will never know into your anus, like maybe the harder I push in your body, more likely it is to get through to your mind, so my tongue's sticking deeper as if it were screaming to fill up your brain, your heart space with meaning, I love you! 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 I spell it out over and over into your asshole, a prayer for us both, pushing my tongue up to mix with the heavens as if one day this will cause it to sink in. Because boy, beautiful boy, lost longing boy, heartbroken boy, we came here for the same thing. We came here to pretend that we are strong, to pretend that we are tough, to become our own older brothers and sisters, fucking and fighting and screaming along to a life that lays captured in the spaces of songs. Us would be so miserable and lonely, sitting on the floor playing with broken toys and action figures, Barbies that we aren't supposed to touch, cars which are only good for crashing again and again, until the silent screams of tiny imaginary passengers become the only sound we can hear. Our hearts beating in sync as the blood pours out of their invisible mouths, screaming, this isn't a game for children, this isn't a game for children to play, this isn't a game for children, this isn't a game for children to play. But the rushing of cars, wheels against asphalt, turning and turning and grinding in circles means nothing to me. It means nothing compared to the sound of blood pouring out of dream space, eyes transforming pain into something forced, a natural way of bypassing a natural process, the skirting around of an issue, a teenage diversion, a crash, and the space of a whisper. Staking my tongue deeper into your asshole, I wrap myself around your heart, an empty taste like snow, cold but still wet, heart and leaking down my throat, extinguishing the burning pit I have been taught to call my belly. You slide off of me and your taste stays in my mouth for the rest of the day while I walk feet behind you, acknowledging your back as you detail your pain, spitting stories of memories that left you and half you don't even hear your own words because you're texting an army of boys who all think they're your lovers. But boy, beautiful boy, lost longing boy, heartbroken boy, they will never be your lovers and they will never see you in the way that I can see you right now. Because I have been in that army and I have fought by your side and I know what it means to make love like war. I know what it means to fuck for survival. I know what it means to lay down on your belly beneath years of degradation, demasculinization, a taking of ego, a robbing of space. I understand what it means to suck in your stomach, to pull yourself in like your life is a hallway, like there is no space for yourself to fit through it because it's being taken by everyone else. To look in the mirror at sad slumping shoulders, a dollar store frame for lost hollow eyes, to reach for connection we find ourselves standing there scraping like branches stretched across the sky. In other words, I know what it feels like to feel like nothing. Your mouth moves in words that are easy to spill because lies aren't as heavy as the truths you're concealing. We're inside your car and you're staying too long, gripping onto my hand knowing you're not supposed to. Your tongue tells me half and your eyes tell the rest in a language that comes out as dew lining lashes that tells me the truth about why you were doing this. And words that fall dead in the air of your throat, never a chance to escape your esophagus, echoing teeth. And a phrase that I know says, I love you, but I don't believe that you or anyone could ever love me. Your grip loosens up and you start the ignition to finish the drive into somebody's arms, affirming, affirming existence into the universe, proving that you want to admit who you are, but who am I to judge? Because boy, beautiful boy, lost longing boy, heartbroken boy, when I am underneath you, pushing my tongue up into your body, I am just like you. I am praying for existence with every stroke and desperate attempt at shooting a word from your colon to brain. I am showing you that I am worth something. I am telling you that maybe, if you look past all the ugly parts of me, I might be worth keeping around. I guess that doesn't sound very convincing. Beautiful boy, heartbroken boy, lost longing boy, I am tired of fighting. I am tired of throwing out hollow cliches. Love isn't a battlefield. Love shouldn't hurt. I'm laying beside you but not having fun while my body is drenched with your sweat and my semen. You're dripping your pre all over my chest but my mind and my being have bolted up the building, so please! I am so sick of lying to myself. I am so sick of get drunk, fuck, play video games, fuck, get drunk, fuck, eat, pray, fuck, get drunk, fuck, Facebook, Facebook, MySpace, Friendster, fuck, no condom, fuck, Castro, fuck, get drunk, fuck, fuck, fuck. This was not my fucking fantasy. I'm dropping away weapons and laying on this battlefield right now, and if you lay down here next to me, I promise to hear every breath that comes out of your lungs until we die. I promise to notice every time the tears of your truth are lining your lashes. I promise to not be so hard on you because I'm afraid that you'll be hard on me. I promise to do everything that I can to make you smile. I promise to hold you. I promise that you exist. And I promise that there are a million better things that we can do instead of crying. Yes!